Hello all, welcome to etltestingtutorial.com. This video we are going to learn explore about various documents which are involved during the ETL testing project in a typical project. Uh, we'll start uh, with the very first and basic and it are most important thing that is project objective. So that we should know that what we are going to uh, test first. So we have been learning ETL testing and we also learned a report testing in the modules. Uh, there are two things, uh, there are two kind of projects. At first, because this is a BI is a new thing, and everybody, uh, every organization is uh, coming towards the BI. So either the first thing is either the data warehouse has not been built for them for the data mart, so they are new to that. So they are migrating all the data and dumping that. They want to develop the data warehousing and business intelligence. They want to apply BI into their projects into the company. In that scenario, uh, that development and architecture is, is coming simultaneously. So the testing, so does the testing. So um, you will have the document, you will receive the document and uh, mostly they are working in Agile, most of the BI projects. So simultaneously in the scrums uh, for each story that you can uh, simultaneously test. Second thing is that it already has been developed and then you can test it or if there are some enhancement performances. But in both the cases, the thing for you would remain same that you will always be involved in the ETL process testing. That whether that has been extracted, whether it has been after the extraction in the steering area, the verification validation has been done, and the uh, uh, business uh, transformation which are required, which are asked to do, whether it has been implemented correctly, and ultimately whether the data has been related to the target or not, that is your data warehouse. So, uh, uh, in any case, uh, for our ETL tester, the thing would always remain the same and uh, obviously the uh, project objective will differ from one uh, project to another that we cannot guarantee but what certainly we can say is you will always be uh, involved in the ETL process or in some cases report testing also that you don't have to worry about, we are already covering that but a few, uh, not uh, typically you would be uh, uh, you know deployed and uh, asked to do the report testing but ETL testing is the main part here so project objective will always be it might be uh, depending on your uh, industry your domain the things will differ but the process will be same and the ETL process whether the extraction and transformation and loading only you have to test second important thing which comes is the mapping document like this is the sole thing like uh, for manual tester and uh, if you are testing the web uh, a website and you will have the FR and that is the base document for you or the PDF same way for ETL testing mapping document is everything mapping document is a document which will tell, I have already explained you in the previous videos for the ETL testing in detail but uh, to just to brief you again mapping document is a document which will map your source code into target table because it is again in the ETL process what is happening you are extracting the data from one table and deploying into another table and you are changing it uh, the data in between the features are being changed in between so whether that has been coming correctly so that you have to map it so everything what is which is being mapped every information which will you require you might require the that comes in the mapping document Mapping document is not only the base for tester, it is al also be the base for the developers. If, if we, uh, the mapping document is being developed by the architects, they, uh, the, they decide on the refractable dimension table and from which source the, this table in. We learned about the star scheme and snowflake schema in, in the model and everything. In that model, each table would be which uh, would be loaded from some table that would be the source right this for source which all column has to be mapped how it would be deployed what is the data then what is the character everything which would be, would be there into mapping document map following the mapping document a developer develops that he does the thing and same following that you have to make sure the tester has to test he has to develop the test cases and test plan that it is matching with the mapping document. I'll show you a mapping document also. Data line is a, a sample mapping document. Uh, it's, it's just for one of the project. So it's, it's like 
you can see the document detail here and the tables and this is the which all tables are involved and this is the source uh, def, uh, table and columns and which is a source is a rows from on which it has to uh, it's going this is a target in which target table is going and what all columns will be there in target and what is the data type what is derived every crucial information would be there because this is the base again this is the base for the developers also th th based on this it has to be developed same way so every detail from source to target and what all transformation in between has to happen everything will be there in the mapping document and based on that you have to write your test cases or test scenarios back to uh, the next document which is crucial and which will be in the ETL testing is uh, various templates templates would be um, again you, you will receive a BR you will receive a, a FR then uh, high level and low level design document you might uh, mostly these are uh, for developers and then you will see your mapping document and then uh, you create the test plan and test cases so these are the stand uh, others are the standard template which you have been following in your testing projects in your manual testing or in automation testing whatever the standard templates would be same uh, plus these uh, mapping document would be there now test case pre preparation how do you prepare test cases for uh, etl testing to, uh, how uh, you have the mapping document as the base right so everything will be dependent on your mapping document only there are certain uh, which i have already told you those test cases those scenarios under which you can write your test cases those uh, you know you have to uh, verify the mapping document uh, to apply the validation the verification and uh, following this mapping documents also each each row each mapping each column mapping data type check or uh, precision check null check everything is a test case so following your uh, mapping document only you write your test cases and writing your test cases would be same as you write it in excel sheet like you do verify that the table name is this verify that the table has these many columns and you list the column names same way plus in addition to as we have been studied um, in the previous videos uh, how each requirement was tested in ETL testing so you have to write some scripts also apart from your test cases you will write those script and notepad and attach with it to a tester for a test case there will be a script that has to be done in the database and then same way you take the screenshot and you upload it into your QC or whatever tool you are using so test case preparation would be same you will write in the Excel sheet plus addition to that a test script for uh, for those all uh, we are covering that into separate uh, separate separate video, uh, videos for each and every requirement that there might be a requirement like you are getting the data from single source uh, source table you are getting data from single file and you might be getting data multiple sources and you are dumping into one target or you are getting from multiple uh, tables and you're dumping into multiple targets so all those scenarios how would you test it or what, what would be the test cases what would be the test steps how would you write the queries for that that has been covered in the module separately and those all will be applicable so you will write your test cases that way now uh, testing the project so uh, as any project goes uh, under the testing phase uh, when the execution starts you will have all your test cases uploaded to your QC and then you will attach all your test scripts also as an attachment and then a test executor who, uh, who would be testing it you can take the script it will run into database under the screenshot and take the proof and upload back in the mark the test case as pass or fail whatever sequence has we have been following in the testing same goes in the ATL testing only the difference the major difference is your base document would be the mapping document you should understand the process what is being happening you understood the ATL you uh, the same ATL process would be applicable in your project what all tables are being uh, being used as source that all details will you you will get into mapping documents before starting the project also you can go through them and understand okay this is the structure what is the requirement why and which all sources they wanted to get the data from and what kind of reports the end user wanted so based on that you can do that and uh, um, and in, even in addition to that once you have understood you can contribute more and you can write come up with more scenario and test cases and 
uh, and uh, uh, for each test case right because everything is happening in database so you'll have to test make sure that that is uh, c coming correctly as per requirement with your database also so you have to write everything to check you have to write queries for that and that we are pretty well covering in all our modules that you have to go through understand that and uh, and uh, apart from that uh, the same process as any uh, manual or automation project follows in regards to templates and the processes and the uh, estimation everything that would be followed the same way so uh, go through all other uh, videos which we have been made for you and keep learning happy learning thank you